How are you guys? This is IBU Learning, the place to develop your academic skills. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can export Revit model in DXF format to use it for a structural design and analysis with supporting software such as eTabs and others. So here you go. I have Revit 2022 open. Now I will go to open new file, click on new tab and I will choose a structural template, click OK. Now I have, I mean uh, I will go to level 1 plan, just I will go to quick draw some grids, just make one grid here and then I will copy two more give five meter and then I just go to copy again two more okay and then X direction I'll just make another grid I'll call it a I just copy this to 10 meter and I will just draw one more grid okay then I can go to adjust this one also I just select this move it also because this is looking very close so I can make it 10 meter also then this one also just select this give you can see this is temporary dimension you can type the dimension here and it will adjust so I need only three grids here basic okay so I have grid set now I'll go to south elevation and I'll check the level level is looking okay level one level two 3 meter height you can make it 3.6 meter and I will just go to copy one more level level 3 now ok perfect I'll just go to draw some columns go to a structural um, tab and choose column and then I have some column already loaded here so I'll go to Choose 305102 and 25. Okay, I'll go to along grid, select the grid and enter. Just finish. So I have how many columns placed? Okay, nine columns is there. And just select, make sure these columns. Yeah, this was you can update this column from here. Level one to I need to go to level two. Base offset is zero. <coughs> just click on the 3D, and you can see the column. Now again go to now go to level two and just take go to a structural tab and take beam and draw the same beam one beam from this point to this point next from this point to this point just you can continue from here to here next from here to here then I have few more from here to here and then from here to here and one more beam from here to here okay this is last balance okay from here to here okay. perfect now I'll go to choose some blessing system
and I'll choose a small 127.76.13 beam and then I can just there is one more I need to just fix the number here I can give 10 number and this is okay and then this, this just change this one to medium go to 3d Oops. there is one more problem I didn't provide the beam here just make it undo and then I can create one beam from here to here and then another beam from this point to this point okay now again I will go to beam system and then I will create one beam this is now I need only six numbers of beam one, two, three or four now go to 3d and you can see this is the beam just copy your framing only go to filter and then you can select all don't select this column just select this column and then copy now and next level to level 3 because we are on level 2 so now you can see this is okay and just go to select the column and make it up to level 3 so now this is the column and framing we have i just need to show you some bracing here so i'll go to south elevation I just go to level 2 just go to bracing and choose a small I section for bracing just click from start to middle of the beam and this is start to middle of the beam do one more time from here to here and one more time here to here okay now go to 3d you can click here and you can come same on the 3d here you can see this line it is showing analytical line okay if you will go to vz type vg for visibility graphic and if you can and check this you cannot see that line okay but this is what we require so just make it undo click here and we need that analytical line for this is for the analysis just change this shaded mode you will see this column bracing just you can copy these four then you can copy from here and align to next level two and you can see this is copy okay just go to a structural plan and click on level one if you will go to level one you will see this is only showing analytical plan now go to 3d you can see here it is automatically since we choose a structural template so it is showing analytical model if you will go to the analytical model you will see this is showing only analytical model see this is only no model line this is what we can export to dxl for design analysis so just I will go to close this or I will keep in level 1 plan and then I will go to 3D and 
I can show you how you can make this one analytical also. But it's okay if you have analytical, you can use this one. Let me show. Okay, so this is already coming from that model. So now we have this. Just set this project. Here you can say structural. for DXF export now I'll go to file go to export and choose the CAD and here you can find the DXF file click on that and just go to next save the dxf file here you can give your name or you can save as the save same and click ok put the your floor plans also if you need you can export the floor plans go to file export cad again same and dxf and you can export it like export a structural plan level 2 and vertical ok and click ok Go to your file, change the own DXF, and open. You can see this. Your analytical model is ready to use for a structural analysis or design software. Even your floor plan, also, you can open and check this floor plans. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.